I promise you will never forget Sturge Weber syndrome ever again with this visual mnemonic. Just remember the surgeon spider, the assassin with the web around it. This stands for Sturge Weber. Now this spider has a distinctive G-shaped marking on its neck, G-neck. That's your G-neck gene, the mutation that causes the syndrome. Now here's the thing about this assassin. It works alone. No family, no crew. It just appeared one day out of nowhere. That's because Sturge Weber is sporadic, not inherited. A random mutation created this lone assassin. Now let me show you how this assassin operates. First, it strikes the upper face, forehead, around the eye, temple. And wherever it strikes, it leaves behind a port wine stain matching its own body color. That's your port wine stain. And it happens in V1 distribution of the face, the first division of the trigeminal nerve. The assassin always marks its territory. From the strike point, the spider's venom spreads through the blood vessels like a web. That's your arteriovenous malformations seen in Sturge Weber syndrome. Now here's where the assassin tools come in. The spider carries a laptop to hack into the brain's outer security system. This will help you remember lepto from laptop and meningeal so leptomeningeal angiomas seen in this condition. Once inside, the spider pulls out its scissors and starts cutting the brain circuits. Scissors cutting circuits stands for seizures seen in this condition. The spider also carries a Glock, which is a revolver, and it aims directly at the eye, but only the eye on the same side as the port wine stain. Remember, Glock aimed at the eye stands for glaucoma seen in Sturge Weber syndrome. It's always ipsilateral the same side as the stain. For its getaway, the spider has a Fiat car parked near the adrenal glands, and this Fiat car has shiny chrome wheels. Fiat with chrome stands for pheochromocytoma, commonly seen in Sturge Weber syndrome. And finally, the assassin signature. Everywhere the spider goes in his car, it leaves behind parallel tracks, two lines side by side, which stands for tram track calcifications seen on the CT scan. That's Sturge Weber syndrome. I hope you never forget.